The Nextcloud mobile and desktop clients offer seamless integration between your devices, making it easy to share or edit files even while you're traveling. A great example of this integration is the automated file locking. When Christine opens a file in Nextcloud Office, for example, and her colleagues are trying to edit it on the desktop, they're going to get warned that they can't make changes to that file. And if she's editing a file on her desktop, for example, in Microsoft Word, Nextcloud makes sure that a colleague won't be able to edit it in the browser. Christine can also seamlessly switch between browser and desktop. She chooses Edit Locally in the three-dot menu, which opens the file on her desktop. And this is super useful for kinds of files that Nextcloud can't handle, like Photoshop files. And similarly, she can also open a file in her Nextcloud right from her file manager, making it super easy for online collaboration. In both cases, Nextcloud will use file locking to avoid editing conflicts. Other improvements in Hub 7 include smarter notification handling and a lot of smaller fixes on desktop. The iOS app now has machine learning-based document scanner for text recognition, and the Android app also allows you to manage and delete accounts now. For sensitive data, Christine also has an excellent option. For an upcoming event, she is managing some sensitive files in a fully end-to-end -end encrypted folder. This means that not even the admins who have access to the server can view these files. When sharing them with her colleagues, the files are encrypted on Christine's client and securely sent to the recipient without ever being decrypted on the server. This true client-side encryption mechanism provides the highest level of security and confidentiality. To help Christine and other users get their tasks done faster, we also worked on improving the performance of Nextcloud. We reduced the load on the server by improving the handling of shares and accessing storage, making the calendar app faster, improving the speed of listing files, and we moved our brute force protection mechanism to a memory cache. And that last one really helps with large installations. We also worked on modernizing our code base. The Nextcloud Files app was rewritten in Vue.js, which will make further improvements to files a lot easier. Additionally, this also had the benefit of improving a whole range of accessibility issues. We fixed nearly 250 problems, like improving the contrast around buttons, labels for actions, and the tab order of elements on the screen. This greatly improves the experience of using Nextcloud for people who use screen readers or keyboards for navigating. And last but not least, we made some improvements to the system monitor. This app gives admins information about their server and its status, so they can track for issues. If you're an admin and you want to find out about things like CPU and memory load, disk and active users, this is the place to go. In this release, we also added the ability to see information from outside the Nextcloud folder, like the PHP and database configurations. And of course, if you're concerned that this is a security risk for you, you can also disable this feature. As you can see, Nextcloud Files is designed to make the life of users like Christine easier, helping them to accomplish their tasks quickly and efficiently. So for a quick recap, Nextcloud Hub 7 brings many improvements, like a changeable app order, PDF annotation, and my personal favorite, the advanced search. We hope you enjoy using these features as much as I do, and we are looking forward to your feedback. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video, and to see our latest, click here or make sure to like and subscribe.